Hey guys, Adam here, The Roof Stratters. We have another video coming your way about how you can protect your roofing company and your roofing sales from the current state of events with the coronavirus. Now, what I'm going to leave you with this video is, is tips and insights that I believe will help you survive, not personally, I'm not a physician, survive from a business standpoint, this short-term crisis we're facing as not only our country, but our world. So. Let's begin. For owners and salespeople, both of these tactics are going to apply to you. Now, disclaimer, status updates are changing on an ongoing basis. Anything that I say, and this is being filmed and posted very quickly, um, may be updated. So please consult a physician, an attorney, or anyone you need to for legal and health advice. I am not your guy for that. What I am here to do is to help you and your business survive this short-term crisis. So let's begin. It is no um, secret that many of you watching this have jobs that are in production. They're either scheduled to produce, they're in production as we speak, you're wrapping up and need final payment, but people are kind of grinding to a halt. It is okay. We need to respect those wishes. We will get through this. At the same time, there are practical considerations as a business owner, such as cash flow and receivable, that we need to take as much control of as we can to, again, survive as a business. So, a couple of tips for you. Again, this applies to salespeople and owners. If you have jobs in production, you need to collect a fund a payment. You need to go through a scope. You're literally mid-install or you're wrapping up final payment. You need to leverage technology. All right. If you are not already doing so, I highly recommend that you look at technology resources for digital document signing. There's programs, which I'm not affiliated with, like DocuSign, which will allow your customers on a tablet or a computer or even their phone to sign a contract, to pick a color, to do a change order, to sign off on a build. And when you communicate with your customers in this way, using text messages, message or phone calls or better yet video conferencing using free solutions like zoom.us, uh, Google Hangouts which is free, Skype which is free, or even an iPhone and using FaceTime. These are all free solutions to help you conduct business as usual by respecting social distancing and privacy space and potentially any uh, quarantine or, or self, what do they call it, uh, <laughs> when you're, you're kind of locking yourself in your house which may end up being something that we all need to do. It will allow you to continue communicating and delivering a high value service to your customers that will respect it. So the two tips, use video conferencing to create the personal uh, experience and continue business. Two, use electronic resources to pass documents back and forth so you can continue on any projects that are in progress. Now, when it comes to installations, depending on where you are, you need to abide by and respect the federal regulations and state regulations. That being said, some areas are impacted less than others. If your crew or one man or two men are out there doing what they need to do to wrap up a job, make sure you are communicating with your customers and not letting those installers into the home and respecting everyone's space so you don't expose yourself to any liabilities that are unnecessary. And, and last thing I want to leave with you is, again, technology is on our side here. Use your phone to take pictures, to take videos, send them via text, email, to let's say you finish a job and you do your customer walkthrough. Take those photos, take the video, create that personal experience, but now is your time to really step up and rise to the occasion to deliver that service and mitigate the impact that this global crisis is going to have on our businesses. Now, the last thing I want to leave for you, owners and salespeople, this time, as our day-to-day -day responsibilities are kind of reduced due to the natural environment of what's going on, this is a time for you to invest in yourselves in ways that you haven't had the time before. Watch YouTube videos, chew through the videos on my channel, chew through podcasts, chew through audiobooks. Um, I personally love Brian Tracy, um, Oren Clef, uh, how, to, how to Pitch Anything, Sell Like Crazy by Sabri Subi. There's a bunch of really excellent books out there for you to use this time again, invest in yourself. And beyond that, um, gather the resources you need, whether it's my information in the marketing battle pack, whether it's free information, like my three tricks to get to the kitchen table, you can opt in below, uh, whether it's other people's information, it doesn't matter. But now is the time for you to say, hey, I have this spare time. How do I grow and put myself into a position that when the floodgates open and we put this behind us or start to put this behind us, 
you are ready to hit the ground running. If you are able, again, state law, federal law, if you're able to, this would not be a bad time for you to cruise the neighborhood, not going out door to door, but driving the neighborhood, grabbing addresses so you can start preparing those under the radar sales letters. Now I've got a video coming out next week to show you the five different letters that you can send and potentially how you could modify those to uh, speak to the current situation at hand. Again, um, you'll be able to check that out next week. Um, so drive through those neighborhoods, grab the addresses, and even if you are preparing those direct mail letters, you know, the targeted outreach, when you're driving through, you say, hey, that home hasn't been done yet, or that home's an old three tab, I can see that there's damage on the roof, you can start preparing your outreach, and if now is not the best time to send them, which it might not be, you can still get everything prepared. You can get the letters printed out or written, or again, using mine, the under the radar sales letter that's in my marketing battle pack. And you can hand address, hand stamp all the envelopes. So when the floodgates open, you put them in the mail and now boom, you're off to the races and you have a leg up. So the key takeaways are this, use this time to invest in yourself and use this time to get ready for when we are back to normal, so to speak. Number two, use technology to communicate with your customers, video conferencing platforms like zoom.us, Google Hangouts, Skype, and even FaceTime, and also uh, video and text message. And then number five, communicate very clearly with your customers so you have a high service standard. People are gonna respect that. There's a great chance that word of mouth is gonna spread, referrals come through when you take care of people. I wish you all the best. I wish everyone here health and safety through this process. We will get through this. Stay tuned to the channel. More to come. Thanks for being here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It tells me that, yes, this is something that you guys are finding value in, and I'm going to do more of it. Drop any comments below, and if you haven't already done, done so, click the bell and subscribe. I have new videos coming your way every Tuesday morning at 5 a.m. Mountain Time, uh, and if you haven't, you can get on my email list. I call it the Roof Strategist Insiders. There's a link below. Inside, it's a super easy way. Just type in your name and email. You're not only going to join my list, you are going to get a free copy of my ebook and you're going to get a number of emails following up with you with, that are value packed with information, tips, and strategies to help you smash your income goals and you'll get new video announcements every Tuesday. Thanks for being a part of my channel and watching this video. I will see you next Tuesday.